Thank you. So I want to tell you a story. Who'd like to hear a story? Raise your hand if you'd like to hear a story. Okay. My name is Michael Rashad. As you can probably tell, I'm English, which means I've got a kind of a bizarre sense of humor. Off the wall, one might say, if one is American to English people, I'm just normal, eccentric, but normal. And I've been making my living as a professional comedian for many, many years. And I, everything I learned about performing on stage, I didn't learn from George Gilbert. But as a comedian, I've been given some wonderful opportunities. And strangely enough, I am also, as a hobby, I'm a dedicated bowler. I love 10 pin bowling and I go bowling a lot. And I was at a bowling league a while back and was a whole bunch of people. And as was my want as a comedian, I was trying to be entertaining as well as making a good score. And one of the gentlemen there turned out to be from Tahiti. And he said, we'd love to have you come over to a bowling competition in Tahiti. And I went, yeah, you know, this sounds really cool. Tahiti is a fantastic place and I'd, I'd love to go there, but, but I got my dog, Lila, and I'm not sure how I'd... Um, leave well I wouldn't want to leave her for such a long time and he said bring her with you we'll pay so I thought well let me call the airline and see how that would work out anyway I called the airline and you know anonymously I didn't say who I was I just said what about taking my dog on a trip to Tahiti and they said well sir you can't really do that you would have to put her in the hold and I went no no that wouldn't be possible she's a seeing eye dog she's my service dog I'm blind and they went well, in that case, sir, we can definitely book you into the cabin with your dog, Lila. And being a cappy, you're lucky by, I just went and booked it. And I thought, why not? Now, obviously, I had to prepare myself. So I went out and bought a white cane and a collapsible white cane so I could fold it up. And a pair of very, very dark sunglasses, because if you looked at my eyes, you know I wouldn't be blind. So I would have to cover them up. So I enlisted the service of a friend to take me to the airport and walk with me to the gate. And I checked in as a blind person with a seeing eye dog, Lola, who thought this was enormously funny. And much to my surprise, I got on the plane with Lola, Lila, and we had a fantastic flight. I was as gruntled as gruntled could be, and so was Lila. I mean, she was just in her element. Anyway, we arrived in Tahiti and we ran into a snag. The, the immigration people said, well, we're sorry, but Lila's got to go into quarantine. I said, she can't. She said, I'm only here for three days. She's my service dog. I can't do anything or go anything without her. And you can't possibly put her in quarantine. And after a bit of kerfuffle and me being pleasant and nice and funny and cracking bad jokes and sometimes good jokes they actually let me through so we went to the bowling competition Lila and I scored a perfect score we won the competition and then we were able to go back to fly back now what I had done is I had forgotten that I had booked us in as a blind person with a service dog and I turned up at the airport, forgetting my white stick and forgetting my dark glasses. And when I went to check in, it was somewhat problematic. And I just said, but I flew here with Lila three days ago. How can you say I can't fly back with her? And they went, but you you were supposed to be blind. I said, I don't know who said that. I said I needed her with me for emotional support. And they finally, after several hours, agreed to let me fly back with Lila. And that's how I got to Tahiti to play bowls. Thank you very much.